Hi everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to my live. My name is Laura Roderick. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. Thank you for joining me. I'm super excited to be here. I've been off for a couple weeks um, since I did a live, um, but I have a really fun set tonight, so I can't wait to show you the things that we're going to make. Um, hopefully after two weeks I can still remember how to make a card. I feel like I'm a little out of my zone right now, but we'll have fun. Um, so last week was spring break for my daughter. So she flew here from Chicago with my granddaughter. So um, she was here for nine days. So we had an amazing time, did lots of fun stuff. The weather was super warm. So I think they had a good spring break and I know I enjoyed every minute of them being here. All right, so a lot to talk about tonight, a lot to show you. It's been a busy week in Stampin' Up! because there's, um, they, they revealed some things. They revealed the new catalog to demonstrators. They revealed um, the color refresh, retiring colors, new colors. So um, very busy week in Stampin' Up! Trying to keep up and get everything organized. Hi, Renee, thanks for joining. All right, so um, you guys, I, come, I go live every Tuesday night, most Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. And I go live on my Facebook page. And then after the video um, has ended, I post on my Facebook business page and onto YouTube. Um, so if you're watching the replay, say hi. Um, if you are on YouTube, give me a like if you want. That would be awesome. And um, thanks everybody in advance for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, hi Kelly, um, and turn my camera down and let's just get into it because there's a lot to talk about. All right. All right, let's see how this looks. I think that looks pretty good. All right. I didn't check to see if I was coming up on Facebook yet, so let me check that and make sure. Okay, there I am, looks good. Okay, good, I can see the comments now too, that's great. All right, so let us start first with um, every week I do, um, hi Carol, I do a contest for sharing. So if you share my video, um, I enter you into a contest and you can share on either Facebook page or you can share on YouTube. Um, you just have to write shared in the comments so I know that it's you that shared. It doesn't always show up if you just hit shared. And then I enter you into a contest for a drawing. So last week we were giving away the beautifully happy stamp set that was a celebration item. And um, the winner from this, it was actually two weeks ago. And hold on, I spelled your name wrong. I don't have a pen. Sorry, Renee. I think I spelled your name wrong there. Um, I forgot an E. But uh, Renee is the winner. So Renee, congratulations. Carol, thank you for sharing. So our, uh, what I'm going to give away next week is two things. Um, so if you share my video this week, I'm going to give away this adorable owl set. This was also a celebration item, a really fun set. We made some cards with that. And also a package of the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Backed Gems. There's four colors. You can barely see the other color um, up there. But um, that's what I'm giving away for next week. So thank you again in advance for sharing. It's truly appreciated. Okay, let's quickly talk about what's going on with Stampin' Up. I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of stuff, um, except that there's some really good sale prices right now and things that are retiring. Um, so it's kind of a last chance sale. And that started today, like at midnight um, mountain time. So I was up pretty early for work and I placed an order this morning. So um, I should have it on Thursday. So by next week, I should show you guys a couple of the new products already. But let's just talk about the colors because these are the colors in case you haven't heard and probably a lot of you already have. Um, this is what's going to retire. So Bermuda Bay, Blushing Bride, Mango Melody, which makes me really, really sad. Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron, Pear Pizzazz, Pacific Point, Sahara Sand, So Saffron, which is another one I really like, and Soft Suede. And I just want to um, give a shout out to Nathan Spear for um, sharing this so I could share it with you. It was super nice of him to um, make these up. Okay, these are the um, in colors that are going to retire this year. Polished Pink was another one of my favorites, so I'm really sad to see that go. But if you notice, Fresh Freeze up on here is not retiring, so that's going to be one of the new colors um, in the color refresh. 
All right, so here are the new core colors that there are gonna be. Um, Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst. This one's really pretty, and I don't think um, that uh, this necessarily does it justice. This is a gorgeous color, I can't wait to use it. Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath is a really nice pink. Fresh Freesia, our friend uh, that was going to retire but didn't. Lemon Lime Twist, I think that one's a bring back. Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, that was one of my favorites when that was um, out before as one of the in colors. Pecan Pie and Pretty Peacock. So those are gonna be the new core colors. And then the new in colors that are coming are these um, really pretty kind of muted um, tone colors in Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue, Moody, Moody Mauve, and Pebbled Path. So it's gonna be fun to start playing with these colors and see how we can work them into things. This one I'm not sure, but we'll see when it comes in person what it really looks like. I'm excited to see it. Okay. So if you would like um, the last chance list, you can either go on that line to Stampin' Up! on my website and check out and see what's on sale, or if you would like a list sent to you, email me and I will send you the list. Okie dokie. All right, um, we're gonna be working out of the mini catalog, which expires at the end of April. And uh, pink, hold on, let me find the pink one. We're gonna be using this set tonight. And I gotta tell you guys, I love this set. It's Taco Fiesta. And, um, uh, Erica Serwin, this is her million dollar stamp set that she designed. And Erica is here in San Antonio in Helotes, and she is one of my uplines. So my first upline is Deborah Harrison, and um, Erica is Deborah's um, upline. So I'm on Erica's team and Deborah's team. And um, I, this is, I love this set. It's just so wonderful. So I can't wait to show you um, some of the things we've done. I know Erica did some classes with this already that were spectacular. All right. And so I was kind of saving. I was waiting to use the set because we have Fiesta coming up in San Antonio. So I think that starts April 20th. And Fiesta is a big deal in San Antonio, just kind of like the rodeo is too. Um, so it's, it's a really big deal. So we're going to do a little bit of Fiesta and also Cinco de Mayo is coming up. Okay. So here's the cards we're going to make tonight. We've got this holy guacamole. It's your birthday card. We're going to do a little Fiesta shaker card, which I think is fun with a little pinata. I've got a let's celebrate you card and this one opens up and it's got some of these fun things inside. So I think that's a really fun card that we're going to make. And then I just have these little treat holders. Um, so these treat holders were inspired um, by, so when we were at, was it on stage in November? That's when Erica introduced her set to everybody and she did a presentation on stage and she gave these to her team members. So I was inspired by this. This is just a little matchbook um, treat and it has a little taco in it. So these are gummy tacos. Um, so I got the idea from her and then my, um, thing that I handed out at, um, to everybody was um, this little treat and there was a Ghirardelli inside. So I made this, but I'm using um, the same gummies that she had got. These are from Amazon and let me just open one up to show you. Here's the little taco one and I'll show you the other ones. There's um, a little uh, sombrero and a cactus and um, let's see, there's one more thing. I can't remember what it was. Really cute gummy candies, and they taste good. My granddaughter can attest to that because she had a couple of them while she was here. Um, that, I think, is the sombrero. Let's see what this one is. Nope, that's the sombrero. Okay, let's open it up and just see. What is this? Ah, little pinata. Isn't that cute? So really fun. So these are the things we're going to make tonight. Let me kind of put these aside, and we will get started on our cards. A lot of coloring and fussy cutting tonight. That's what's on the agenda. Um, there are not dyes to go with this set. All right, so let's start with the Holy Guacamole It's Your Birthday set. Here is the actual stamp set for Taco Fiesta, and we're pretty much using almost every stamp in the set tonight. The other thing we're using for this card is the Duckled Rectangle dies. These are carrying over into the new catalog. These are really fun. And the Layering Circle dies. These are retiring, so I'm really sad about that because... I love, I love these, and as you guys know, I use these all the time. All right, here's our pieces for our first card. We've got this piece for stamping. Here's the circles that we have. We have um, a little piece of granny apple green, and this is four inches by one and a half. 
Then we have two of the deckled rectangles that um, we cut out of basic white and basic black. I've got the standard car card base in basic black, eight and a half by five and a half, right? Scored at four and a quarter. And then this designer series paper is really fun too. Now this is a hostess paper and um, it's got lots of, let me just show you how fun this paper is. It's a big pack of paper. There's a lot of paper in here with really fun designs and colors and flowers and all kinds of things. So it's really versatile paper. Um, so if you would like to make and takes this week, and you place an order of $35 or more with me and use this host code right here, I will send you the make and takes for all these projects, okay? So you will get um, the DSP pre-cut for the projects if you would like them. All right, so let's start with our layers. Um, as long as they're here, let's go ahead and adhere them. Uh, I'm gonna start with this layer right here. This is five and a quarter by four. And that's just gonna go straight on centered like this okay the next one is the black deckled rectangle and i'm just going to put this one on an angle and we'll just use a little seal to put that down as well and i'm just going to put that kind of on an angle right like this okay so the next layer we're going to do a little bit of stamping okay so we're going to take our um, deckled rectangle in the basic white and let me just get a little bit of something to stamp on. So this grid paper, you know, uh, I'm sad to say that they have um, canceled the um, Stamparatus and it's already sold out. So that's gone, which makes me really sad. Um, but they did have this morning when I ordered some of these um, grid papers that go with it. So I got a couple of packages of these because they're just the perfect size, I feel like, for when you're working. Okay, so we're going to take our little taco um, tortilla chips and we're just going to stamp all over and kind of make our own designer series paper on this card so I'm just going to go around and stamp in different areas oh that one was a little bit light I think I'm going to end up putting that one this way and I'll put the circle right over it And then we're going to color these. And I thought so saffron would work really well. Um, it's a seems like a good tortilla color to me. So that's kind of what I use for all the tortillas tonight. So we're just going to color those in. And I'm just going to do them in light. I'm not sure I like the way this other one turned out either. Wait, did I get my caps mixed up? Yep, this is the dark. Didn't see that coming. Hold on. Let me get myself organized. So a lot of different colors using the Stampin' Blends tonight. So I'm just gonna go through, and it's hard for me to see because I've got the shadow where my light is, so it's gonna be hard to stay in the lines. So let me see if I can adjust my light a little bit to fix the shadow. All right, then I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark highlights randomly on the chips. And we'll just go through and color all these. Let me try coloring this way so I can see better. So it's kind of funny, you know, Emmeline's my granddaughter. She just turned two and they were here at Christmas. And um, when she came for Christmas, I bake Christmas cookies every year. So we had, I don't know, 10 or 12 different kinds of Christmas cookies. And they were all in containers in the laundry room. So it was funny because when she came, she wanted a cookie and she went in the laundry room and she was like, oh no, I guess she expected the cookies to still be there, but of course they were not. But I did freeze um, the spritz, so we did have some in the freezer to give her. So she actually did get a Christmas cookie while she was here, but I thought that was really funny. I'm glad she remembers things from my house, because she's only two. But she kind of had the same reaction when she came upstairs to the family room because of course, the house looked a lot different without all the Christmas stuff. And um, there's some shelves there that we had put a bunch of toys on for her. And of course, those were put away um, because they weren't here. And she kind of looked around too like, oh my goodness, where's all my toys? 
but we found all the toys. She has plenty of toys at grandma's house, so we did that. We did a lot of fun stuff during the week. We went to SeaWorld, to the water park. We went to see one of those Disney immersive uh, things, which was really fun. She had a ball just running around, and of course, she's really into Disney right now. She likes the Disney characters and the movies, so that was pretty fun. I think she had a pretty fun spring break. But everybody's back to work this week. And I heard more bad weather's coming, so I hope everybody's going to be okay. I think the Midwest, and I think it's going to sweep across the country again, right? I hope everybody stays safe. It was pretty bad last week. Not for us, but for other people. So, wishing the best for everybody. Okay, a couple more. We're almost finished here. Hi, Lois. How are you? All right, I'm not so happy with this one because I didn't stamp it dark enough. Now, if I wanted to, I could take my stamp and write marker and kind of outline it a little bit, but I'm still kind of thinking I might just try and cover it up with something. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna leave these open for a minute because we're gonna do a little bit more stamping. So on the circle die, I'm gonna do the little guacamole bowl and I think this is just adorable. And we'll put that there. Then on our extra piece of paper, we're going to do a set of the chips again. And one of the cute little lime slices. So, whoa, that's no good. All right. All right, I'm not going to um, recolor the chips because um, you already saw how I did those, so I won't uh, spend time doing that again. But um, for this one, I used Granny Apple Green, uh, light and dark for our guacamole. So for all these projects, I used two greens. So I used the Granny Apple for some things, and I used the Parakeet Party for other things. But the Parakeet Party is almost neon-y, so I didn't want to have, like, neon-looking guacamole. So that's why I went with... Um, this color and we'll just add a little bit of dark highlights to this and then kind of blend them in a little bit and then I'm going to use um, the same color for our lime slices I'm going to just do the inside with the light and the outside with the dark and so what I did last night as I was getting ready for the class is I went ahead and did all my stamping uh, at one time for all the projects. To me, it was just easier to do it that way. And so let me just show you really quickly. Um, what I did. And you can, if you want to see this, so I did three, uh, two of the tortilla chips, three of the limes, three tacos, one burrito, one avocado, four chili peppers, three cactus, three pinatas, and one guacamole bowl. Not the one here, but one that gets cut out. So I did all of them. Um, there's plenty of white cardstock in your kit, so just pull out all your white cardstock and just you can just stamp them all at once, color them. And then I just sat in front of the TV and fussy cut them out. It's a lot of coloring. It's a lot of fussy cutting, but I think it's worth it. It's really fun. I wish they would have um, done some dyes with this set. That would have been awesome, but they did not. Okay, so here are the pieces I cut out last night. So let me get what we need for this. I've got a little lime that we're going to use and then one of the chips. Okay, so we've got that all set. All right, I think we're ready, and I still have to color that. So I use Smoky Slate to do the bowl. Let me get the light first. You could do this. I've seen um, the bowls really colorful, right? You could do it in red. You could do it in black. There's lots of different colors. You could do it in any color that you would like. I'm just going to add a little bit of dark shading. Blend that in a little bit. Okay, and I think we're ready to assemble our card. 
right, so markers here. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this layer on next. And I think I'm gonna put it this way, like that. Or do I, yeah, I think I want it this way. All right, opposite angle this way, okay. Now, for this piece right here, uh, this is gonna go across here and this is gonna have our sentiment on it. So you can either stamp it in black or um, what I did was um, embossed it because I like the look of the embossing. It just makes it a little bit darker and I think it looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and emboss it really quickly. Let me find my stamp. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And we kind of want this right about here. All right, let's get out our black embossing powder. And I should have used, you guys, I never remember to use the embossing buddy. I don't know how I'm going to ever remember to do that. Like, I guess it's habit because I've been doing embossing for a lot of years and I never used it before. So it's not like part of the routine, but it's a really good idea to use it. Um, as a matter of fact, let me go a little bit over this one more time to make sure it's dark enough. Because anything on there then that you heat emboss is going to stick. And you can go back with uh, your heat, your um, eraser and try and erase it later, but it's a little bit harder to do. Okay, so that's ready for our heat tool. But again, if you wanted to, you could just stamp it in black. That would be fine. I'm going to hit it from underneath. I usually like to start from underneath with the heat tool when I have little bitty letters so none of the um, embossing powder blows around. I want to make sure I get a nice crisp um, sentiment on there. So this looks pretty good. Okay. I think that looks good. All right, so now what I did with this before we adhered is I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and white gingham ribbon, and I was excited this ribbon's carrying over into that new annual catalog, so that is good. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it this way and then tie a knot through it. So let me get my scissors, and I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back, right here and here. Lost my mind for a minute. I'm back. I'm gonna do it this way and just put it around the back to stick and that way and put it around to stick right there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of some of this powder. Now I'm just gonna take another piece and just tie a knot. And now you could put it all the way around and just tie your knot in front. It's just, I thought this was a little bit easier to do it this way. And I didn't want to tie a bow because I didn't want it to be too big. I thought a knot would be just fine. So that's what we're doing. Okay, and let me just trim off the ends. I'm going to trim them pretty short. Yeah, so I love this ribbon. I'm super excited that it's carrying over. Um, the other ribbon I use a lot, and I think we're going to use that tonight too, is that white glittered organdy ribbon. And in the new catalog, I was like, well, where's there a white ribbon? Because that isn't in the new catalog. But I think it's going to be an online exclusive, so that is actually going to carry over, um, which is good because I need a white ribbon for sure. And I feel like that's a good one. Who doesn't love glitter, right? All right, so I'm going to put this right about here. On the card okay and then I'm gonna attach my white circle I've got powder everywhere just with a little adhesive to um, the black backing have you guys seen what's uh, what's retiring yet are you sad about anything I'm grieving for a couple things this uh, layering circle dies 
and the stitch rectangles aren't carrying over either so and I use those all the time so I'm gonna have to find alternatives all right so I'm gonna put the little guacamole bowl right here all right and then I'm gonna take a little mini dimensional to put our um, lime And we'll just put that right there. And then what I did with the chips is I just cut one of them. The one that kind of hangs off like this. So I'm just going to cut that one off. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. Let me trim this so it's a little bit neater. Cut out the rough edges. And let me see if I can get my glue started for tonight. So did y'all have a good week? Anybody do anything super fun this week? Was anybody else on spring break? I know it seems like um, all the spring breaks are different. You know, Nicole's was last week, but the week before was the San Antonio spring break. Or was it two weeks before? They're all pretty varied. Okay. So I'm going to put just one chip here and then put the other ones here. And the last thing we're going to do is add some embellishments. And I thought the matte black dots would work really well. These are retiring, so these are on clearance right now. Um, so if you'd like to get these, I would say hurry up and get them before they're gone. Um, I ordered some this morning. Where is my take your pick tool? Here it is. Because they're just so versatile to have black, right? All right, so I just kind of put them randomly and, um, oops. Kind of favor the small ones, to be honest. Okay, that's it. That is our first card, holy guacamole. That is it. Now, if you don't like this moving, you can always put a little glue dot under here to secure this too. So I think mean, that's a really cute card. I love this set. It's just so colorful and so many fun things. All right. All right, give me one second. I'm just, it's hot in here. I'm taking off my jacket. Okay. I think it was like 88 when I was driving home from work. So it's a little bit warmer outside today. Okay, so the next one let's do, let's do the shaker card, our Fiesta card. All right, so for this one, I've added these. These are fun. The Alphabet Ella Mode dies, and you have the kind of the skinny, tall letters. So I used those to spell Fiesta and cut those out. I also used these, which I use a lot, the Basic Borders dies, and I believe these are carrying over. And I used the zigzag die to cut a couple of white. And I actually had some of these left over from another project we did, so that was pretty awesome. I didn't really even have to cut those, so that was great. Okay. Here's the parts for this card. Make sure I've got everything, all the letters out of here. Okay, so we are starting with an Orchid Oasis card base, eight and a half by five and a half, score to four and a quarter. All right, and then, all right, I've got that. This is another layer of that designer series paper. I thought this was pretty fun and festive. This is five and a quarter by four. And the name of the um, designer series paper is Flowers and More. Okay, so let's start by putting that down. All right, are you guys sick of shaker cards yet? I'm still having fun with them, I have to admit. All right, I've got a white piece for stamping. I've got the two pieces cut out. And these are, they're not even. They don't have to be even because it's not going to show. You're not going to know that it's not even, right? So none of mine that I cut are even for that. All right, um, and then I have this piece, which we're going to put the Fiesta on. And again, I went with the Granny Apple Green. This is three and a half by one and three quarters. Then I used the layering circle dies, and what I did was I used um, a scalloped one, and then the inside I put a solid one. So I have kind of um, a thicker ring, and this is going to be the outside of our shaker. 
So I'm going to use the layering circle for the inside of our shaker card. We're also going to stamp on this one, so I'm going to put this over here. And then um, I have a piece of window sheet that is cut out. So let me tell you about this window sheet. So I used the same um, size layering circle die. The problem is, though, it didn't really cut it out. It, it left a really nice indentation, but it didn't really cut it out. I didn't want to keep sending it through. Um, so uh, it made the imprint and then I cut, I cut it. So you can see it's kind of jagged. It's not very even, but no one's going to see it. So it really doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So what do we want to do first? Let's do the stamping first. So, um, let me make sure nothing's under. I want to make sure this is flat under here when we stamp and make sure it's high enough so that you guys can see it. All right. The only stamp pad I think I used for this whole set was the Memento. All right, another really fun stamp in this set is this little party stamp. So let me, hold on. I've got all my stamps already blocked, so they're kind of all over the place over here. So isn't this a fun stamp? So I'm just going to do the background with that on the circle. Let's see if I can get them all dark and not mess this up. Not that it really matters because you're going to have the little sequins over it too. Oops. And maybe one more. Maybe go this way. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're going to end up coloring that. And then we're going to do one of our pinatas. We ended up doing three total for this class. And I'll do this. So you can see I'm giving you um, white cardstock for each card. So there's plenty of white cardstock to do all your stamping in. All right, next coloring. All right, so I'm using the bright colors and I really used a lot of the colors this time from the, uh, the in colors from last year, which I haven't really used that much because they're pretty bright, but bright is perfect for this, right? So I'm going to take the dark sweet sorbet and I'm just going to color in a little bit of this pinatas. What would you call this? They have a little blanket on them, would you say? That's what it looks like to me. And so I'm going to leave the pinata basically white and just add a little bit um, of color in one of these streamer like the tails. All right, then the other color I used is a Parakeet Party, and I've got Dark Parakeet Party, and we'll do the same thing. I'm going to do the inside circle here, and just like that, and then part of the tail, okay. I'm going to use Orchid Oasis, and I've got the light Orchid Oasis here. And I'm just going to do these little neck list beads here and this layer. I think these cards are very bright and colorful. Okay, and then I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. And I think I have the light one here. Let me see, is that the light one? Yep, that's the light one. So I'm just going to do the nose and the ears. And this little layer right here and then another one of the tail streamers okay that gets cut out and let's do the candy I should have done the candy while I had um the markers out so I'm just doing yellow and sweet sorbet stripes on the candy and that's the kind of the rolled looking candy I think it's kind of fun to have the candy in the background. That was really genius that she did this little candy thing for the pinata, right? And let's get our sweet sorbet again. And do the rest of that. And then I think I used the, the um, oops, I messed that one up. It's kind of hard to see the yellow right now. Ugh, I'm kind of messing this up. And it's I'm going to blame it on the shadow again. Plus, it's really little. Okay. 
one more. Okay, so we've got those, and the other ones I did. Um, get my markers back out in the Orchid Oasis. These are just the little round candies, and in the Parakeet Party. And that'll make a really nice background for us. Let's do one more over here. Okay, last one, and then we're ready to start some assembly. So I pre-cut the pinata just like the other ones. Okay, I think the first thing we'll do, so let me get out a pinata. We've got that little guy here, so that's all finished. And I want to glue on the letters next. So I'm gonna just take my piece of granny apple and get my letters, hopefully I have all of them. I'm just gonna kinda line them up to make sure they're spaced okay before I actually glue them down. So Fiesta in San Antonio, like I said, it's a big deal here. And it's hard to explain what it is exactly. It's kind of like a party that lasts for like two weeks to 10 days. All right, where is the letter E? I'm missing my letter E, hold on. I'm gonna have to break into another one to get an E out. I hate when stuff disappears. Just make sure it's not under anything. Okay, time for a new E, hold on. Let's see what I got here. Okay, I'll put this one aside. So I know that that one needs some attention. So it's kind of hard to explain what Fiesta is. It's um, just parties everywhere, all kinds of different things. There's a bunch of different parades, um, just really, really fun things. Um, and it's like 10, 10 days, two weeks. It's at least two weekends worth of things, plus weekday things. They even close things downtown, like they close like business offices downtown um, for a day or two when they have these parades that are downtown, like they have Battle of the Flowers parade, and I've never seen the parades in person. They have a night one that's all light up stuff, which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, vendors, food truck, there's stuff everywhere. I'm going to use this two-way glue to just put on the back of my letters and just adhere these to the green. So I'm not sure if we're going to go to Fiesta this year, and if so, what events we'll go to. We usually like to go to King William, and that's um, a really nice part of town with these big historic homes, and it's all um, things in the street, like the vendors, arts and crafts, food. They have a parade there, too, which is really fun. Um, so... All right, let me see, am I getting these kind of straight? All right, have you guys had a chance to look at the last chance list and see? Like I said, I got up early before work and I placed an order and I wanted to get some of the things that were on sale before they sold out. And I got everything that I had on my list that I wanted to get. Nothing was sold out that I wanted yet, except for the magnets for the Stamparatus. I wanted to get an extra set of magnets for my Stamparatus, but um, they sold out already, which is fine. I still have a couple extras, but because um, those tend to break because they're such powerful, strong magnets. But I don't know what the story is behind the Stamparatus. Um, that they're not going to have it because it is such a valuable tool and I love it. And you know, other companies make them, but none that were as nice as Stampin' Up where you had the two plates and you're able to move them. And there were just so many advantages to this one. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully there's going to be more information to follow at some point. So I hope y'all have a Stamparatus already. 
All right, so it looks like it wasn't perfect spacing here, but I don't think it's too bad, really. Okay, we're gonna call that done and let's do the assembly. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is put our background down and I wanna just kinda make sure that I'm gonna have enough room here before I do that. So I want it pretty close to the top. And so I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna have a little bit of a border too. So I wanna make sure it's pretty close up here. So I think right about there, kind of in the middle. Okay, so that's where it's gonna go. All right, then the next thing we're gonna do is get ready to put our things in. So I'm gonna take this piece right here and flip it upside down. And I'm just gonna go around with my seal and just add seal on this side because it's fast and easy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my window down. And you can see it overlaps a bit like that. Okay, so that's ready to go. And it's still sticky, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, hold on. Okay, so the next step is going to be for us to get our foam adhesive strips. So let me grab one of these. And these are pretty flexible, so we're gonna be able to put this into a circle. And they're pretty skinny too. So let me just tear one of these off. And then I'm just gonna start going around. Doesn't have to be perfect, you just don't wanna be able to see it through the window. I got glue on my finger. And I think uh, you can go all the way around the whole circle with just one of these strips. I'm gonna, these, these sequins that came in the three colors, I'm really gonna miss those too. I don't know what I'm gonna use for shaker cards now, but I love those. They were one of my favorite things. Okay, so we've got our circle. All right, let's take off our strip so we have the sticky part showing. I wanna make sure that this is closed because we don't want any sequins escaping. So that looks pretty good. And then let me get some sequins. So for this one, uh, here's the three colors that come with the sequins. I used um, some of the blue and some of the green. I thought that was a nice color combination. So I'm just gonna put some of each color in here, right in the middle, like that. You don't need that many, because it's kind of a small area. And isn't it pretty with the silver and the pearls in there too? They did a really good job with these sequins, I feel like, I love those. All right, let me get this all in the middle so nothing's around the edge where we're gonna put our adhesive strip circle. Don't wanna waste one, let me put that one in. Okay, we're gonna waste that one. All right, and we'll put this right center, right over our circle, like that. Okay, there we go, our shaker part is all set. All right, now I'm gonna take some adhesive and put these strips on the back of here so let me just run a little glue on both sides. Oops. I don't always hold that at the right angle. And so I, I wanna kinda line this up so just the points are showing. So I want it pretty close, right like that. And let me get the other side. So as you can see, like I said, it's not gonna be even on the back, but who cares, no one's ever gonna see it. Um, so I didn't even cut them straight, don't even care. And let's see, maybe about here. Again, just lining up with the bottom of the points. And they're longer than they need to be, which is fine. We're just gonna take a scissor and then clip them off. Let me do it this way so I can see where I'm cutting. And I think that looks pretty festive like that. Okay, we can go ahead and I'm gonna pop that up. Let me get rid of my garbage. You know what, let me get, I'm gonna open a new set of uh, dimensionals. Okay. 
There's that rogue sequin, just keeps showing up. Oh, Renee says it was a legal thing. They lost a court case against Misty for copyrights of using a hinge. Ugh. Lois, I haven't seen anything about them raising the shipping. I did see, the only prices I saw that I noticed went up so far was like the paper and the Stampin' Blends uh, went up a little bit. Um, I didn't pay any more for the expedited shipping today. I got the two-day shipping, and I did not pay any more for that than normal. So I think it's still 11%, and then the uh, two-day was $23. Okay, let's put this little guy on, and I think I'm going to pop him up, too. Um, you know what? I want to have a little bit of um, this black twine, so it kind of looks like we've got um, a little bit of a string on this guy. So let me start by putting the string on the back of him. Well, maybe they'll develop a new stamparatus then. That would be good. Um, but the hinge was a nice feature, too, I'm going to say. All right. Let me get... I managed to get glue on my area. Are you surprised? Yeah. All right. I'm just going to add a little bit of seal up here. And it's not going to show because I'm going to put a bow over it. So I'm just going to put that down and then trim it off right here. Okay, now it kind of looks like our pinata has a string. i got to get this cleaned up. I might take a minute to do that. Um, every time before, the night before I go on, I clean this whole thing with Goo Gone and then a little bit of Windex antibacterial. Oh, look, I found my E. Hmm. Okay, let's do a bow in the glittered white organdy ribbon. And then we'll add some embellishments to this, and then this card will be done. We're getting good at shaker cards, right? Because we make them a lot. And I think they're fun, and they're festive. All right. Glue dot, please. Okay. All right, you guys, that's it. That is our, oh, no, it's not. Hold on, I'm lying. Need, need some more matte dots. Let me get some of the little ones out. This, these matte dots really come with a lot in the package too. So they kind of go a long way. All right, let's get these on. All right, now we're done. There we go. Lots of fun. All right, before we do the next one, I need to clean up just one second. Let me just grab a paper towel really quick because this glue is gonna make me crazy. I managed to get glue all over everything. My stamp sets, I get glue on my um, blocks all the time, my stamping blocks all the time, but this is making me crazy. It's just going to keep sticking to everything. So let me just get some of this glue off and I'll try and be neater. And then let me get some of that off. Okay. Sorry. Never had to clean like this during, but I was being messy. All right. So let's do this card next. This one's a lot of fun too. We've got Let's Celebrate You. And then it opens up to a four panel inside and says happy birthday over here. And I think um, these things that she came up with are just really cute. And the little um, little sayings or um, what do you call them, puns. So that's fun. Okay, so let's do this one next. Um, what I added for this, I took from the Celebrate Sunflower set. And that's where I got this greeting from, let's celebrate you. I mean, you could put anything on here. You could put happy birthday, you know, use whatever stamp you have for that. The other thing was for the happy birthday, um, there wasn't a happy birthday in the stamp set with the uh, Taco Fiesta. So from the something fancy, I just took this straight up small one because I thought it would fit perfectly on the inside of the card. Okay. Just gonna 
all cleaned off. All right, here are our card pieces. There's a lot of card pieces to this one. I'm gonna say this this card took me a long time to cut all the pieces for um, the kits that'll get shipped later. Okay, for stamping. So we've got our card base in Sweet Sorbet and we did 11 inches by four and a quarter and we scored it at five and a half. So this one's gonna open like this. This is gonna be the panel for the inside and this is 11 inches and it's three inches wide and it's scored at two and three quarter, five and a half, eight and a quarter, okay? And we're gonna kind of do this um, accordion style. So it's gonna go um, like this and then this one's gonna fold up like this. So when we put them down, it's gonna, it's gonna be like this, okay? So that's in the sweet sorbet also. All right. So the first thing I wanna do is take some pieces of the designer series paper. And these are all, there's three pieces, they're five and a quarter by four. And these are, um, this one I got from the, um, what do you call it? Let me think what it's called real quick. It's designer series paper in the in colors. Okay, um, and these are the 2024 in colors, and these are going to be retiring. This DSP is going to be retiring, not the colors, just the DSP. So I used the sweet sorbet from that. Like I said, five and a quarter by four. So that's going to go on the outside. So let's put that one on first. So all new patterns for the in color DSP for all the um, colors DSP. New patterns this year. And they do that every year, switch up the patterns. So this is the outside one. Um, the two inside ones, I took these again from the Flowers and More DSP. All right, and these are gonna go on the inside, two inside panels. All right. So one on this side like that. Hold on. What did I do? And the other one, and I want to make sure they kind of line up going across, which well, they don't exactly, but that's okay. All right, so that's kind of the inside. Now we can go ahead and put this part in, or we could decorate it first. What do you think? Let's decorate it first before we put it on the inside. All right, so stamping for this, we're stamping one pinata. We're doing the cactus. We're doing the guacamole bowl again, like we did. We're actually doing two cactus. And let me show you the cactus. Really cute. We'll stamp the ones that we haven't stamped yet. So we've got this cute little cactus guy. Now there's a separate stamp for um, the little sombrero and you could put the sombrero on any of the items, right? It doesn't have to go on the cactus. It could go on a taco. It could go on an avocado. You can put it on anything you want. So we're just gonna put that here like that. Um, and then the faces, there's faces. There's a bunch of different faces for things. So this one, um, I did two of these cactus for this card. I did one with just the regular face like this, a little smiley face. So let's put a smiley face on like that. And then this other one has a little winky eye smiley face. So I did that on the other cactus. Um, we have the avocado stamp. So I did one of the avocados. We have the chili pepper, adorable chili pepper. Very cute. And then we've got a couple of tacos. So here's the regular taco. Do one of these on here. And I could have done them closer together because there's a lot of um, stamping for this card and cutting. Little burrito action here. Okay. And I think that's it. Okay, aside from the ones that we already did. So let's just color these really quickly. Um, and then I can tell you what colors I used. So for this one, I went back to Granny Apple Green again for the cactus. That seemed like more of a cactus color than the parakeet party. And so, and I got a new granny apple green because I used the heck out of my other one. All right, and I stamped the face on first. If you stamp it on after you color, it's gonna get a little kind of blurry and you don't want that. So stamp your face on first. 
you could put faces on everything. You could put faces on the avocado, on the taco, on the chili pepper. As long as I have this light one out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the top of the chili pepper too. All right, let me just add a little bit of dark shading on our cactus and then we'll blend that in. He's really cute, right? I love the little cactus. Okay, then what I did for the cactus was I took my black stamp and write marker and this is on clearance. I don't know if it's retiring or what the deal is, but it's on clearance and it's really inexpensive. And then I just went through and made some little dots on the cactus, just like that with my Stampin' Right marker. Okay. So for the avocado, same thing. Let me get out. I did the inside light. And I might have done a little bit of shading on the inside. And then I just did the outside rim in the dark granny apple. I'm not being very neat because I'm trying to hurry because of the video. Okay, and I think I wanna do the bullet to go around the outside. We had an avocado tree in the backyard and oh my gosh, we had so many avocados. And then two years ago, we did, got that horrible freeze here in Texas. See, that was a terrible job of coloring. Um, we got that horrible freeze and it kind of killed my avocado tree. And then we got a freeze again this year. So it's trying to come back, but um, it's not looking good. So I'm kind of sad about my avocado tree. All right, let's do some lettuce. I feel like I color a little bit better with um, the brush tip because the tip's a little bit skinnier. And we'll do a little bit of this lettuce right here coming out of the top of this burrito and add a little bit of shading to that. Okay, time to do a little bit of, now I wanted these to be a different color. So I used the So Saffron again to do um, the taco shell, just like the um, nacho chips, the tortilla chips. I thought this is a really good color. So here's the light. And then I'm also gonna use the light to do um, the sombrero hat. And I'm going to add a little bit of dark. We'll do a little bit of dark this way and around that way. Kind of blend it in a bit. Okay. But I wanted this burrito to be a little bit lighter colored because I feel like it is. So I used the Ivory Stampin' Blend to do this. And it's just a little bit lighter, but it's still kind of that beigey color. And I just thought it was a good choice. This one, I just ordered new ones of this this morning too, because you can see my tips like totally frayed because I use this one all the time. Okay. That's it for that. And I used a little bit of soft suede. And just to do the avocado pit. And a little bit, just a, I could use the dark to shade it a little bit, but I'm just gonna add a couple layers of this. Okay, lastly, sweet sorbet to do our chili pepper. Okay, we'll add a little bit of shading on the side of this one as well. I 
I think this red, the sweet sorbet, is the perfect color for these red chili peppers. Really pretty. Okay, let's do our hat band in sweet sorbet. And I think the other one I did in the Orchid Oasis. And then a little bit of our tomato here. Okay, and those are the pieces that we need. So again, take a pair of scissors and cut these out. Let me grab them out of my bowl, grab everything we need here. We need one of these, one of these, chili pepper, taco, avocado, the guy with the blue hat too, burrito, um, another, did we use the bowl? I think we used the bowl and the lime and a tortilla chip. So I think that's all the pieces cut out. Okay. We got it, right? That's good. All right. So let's finish off the front. So I know this is taking a long time because there's a lot of steps this week, but we're going to go back and decorate. Um, this is, again, we use the deckled rectangles in two different sizes. I did one in the parakeet party and this one is white. And we're going to go ahead and stamp and color again. I should have done this in advance for us, but I did not. Um, so... We're just gonna kind of do a nice background, kind of, we've got the pinata again and the celebration. So let's make it look like a party in the background. That way. off my hand because I'm getting to the messy point and we're just basically doing the same thing that we did last time it's a little easier I think if I do the red first because then I can see better to do the yellow So um, I was telling you before, you know, my granddaughter was here. We did some swimming. That child, she just turned two on the 26th of March, and she has no fear. She will just jump in the pool, go underwater, absolutely no fear at all. That kid loves life. She's just having a good time. She's just so much fun. I was not that brave when I was two years old jumping into pools like that. I know that for a fact. All right. Let's see, I want the daffodil. Nope, so saffron, I keep grabbing the wrong ones. Here we go. Might be easier to see if I use the darker one too, but this is the light. All right, you guys, we're getting there. I think this is our last coloring venture for tonight because the other ones we've colored before and they're already colored and cut out. So at this point forward, we're just gonna do a lot of assembling, which will be easy. So hang in there. We're getting somewhere. I think these, some of these cards take a little bit longer, but I think they're worth it. This is a really fun card. It's not a simple card, but I think it's a fun card. And it's not hard, it's just got a lot of steps to it. All right, let's see, I guess this one. All right, last little bit with the Parakeet Party. Just layer these up on the outside of the card. Okay, did I miss anything? I don't think so. All right, so here's our other Parakeet Party deckled rectangle. 
All right, let's start putting this together. This one, I'm gonna go in and angle up this way. The one that we colored will go opposite angle. Like this. All right. Um, we're gonna stamp Let's Celebrate You on this piece of sweet sorbet. Everybody's grandkids like to swim, huh? Isn't that funny? They start so young. They love the water. That's awesome, you guys. I kind of try and see if I can get this in the middle. And I didn't emboss this time. I'm just stamping. And then uh, you can leave it like this. You can cut it at an angle. I like to use... Um, this little, um, what do you call it, punch, just to flag the ends. Hold on. All right, is that even, or do I need, I'm gonna go in just a little bit more. Just a little touch more, make sure. Okay, I think that's good. That little tool is so handy. I think that's carrying over. Okay, let's pop this up. Right across there. We've got some layering circles in um, Parakeet Party and Orchid Oasis. Why am I struggling with this tonight? And we'll just attach that in the middle. Um, put our pinata on. Pop him up. And I didn't use a string this time, but I did use a stamp and write marker just to make a little string. Let's put that like that. And where did I put my stamp and write marker? And I like it curvy. I know it doesn't make sense because if if it's hanging and there's tension on it, it's going to be straight, right? But I like it curvy anyway. All right. I'm going to pop this one up. Did I pop that? No, I didn't pop it up because the I already have the other part of it popped up. I didn't want to make it too fat of a card. All right. I'm going to put this a little bit of an angle right here. Take a little bit more of that black and white gingham ribbon and make another small bow. A little bit smaller, okay. All right, glue dot. Right there. Okay, this little guy with the blue hat, with the little winky eye just going to put over here because he's part of the party too just like that now we're ready to do the inside so hold on I got more glue shame on me all right so we've got four white panels that are going to go on the inside so we can adhere these down and so what is the size of these for these are two and three quarter by two and a half all four of them All right, so we're just gonna center each one of these on the inside. Then I took some of the colors, and I don't know if you guys have this punch or not. So I did Sweet Sorbet, I did Granny Apple Green, and I did So Saffron. 
and that is this punch right here. It's kind of a scalloped circle punch. And I just punch those out, easy breezy, from the card set. And we'll put those on next. Let me see what order they go in. Green first. All right. The green one. The sweet sorbet. The so saffron. Then I have another piece of the DSP that we used on the front, just this little piece right here. All right, and this is two and a half by three quarters. Just putting that right like that. All right, I'm gonna do one little stamping thing. We're gonna do our happy birthday right here. Hopefully it's not too bumpy. All right, now we just have to put our little insides together here. Oh, wait, more stamping, my bad. I forgot about that. So we've got your Nacho Average Friend. That's gonna go right here. We've got you Spice Up My Life. Right here, let me take this one off so I can see better. Okay, and then Spectacular is the last one. So you can see, like I said, we used pretty much all the little stamps in this set this time. All right. Okay, let's put the rest of the pieces down. And I'm gonna use a little bit of glue for these. All right. So again, we've got our little guacamole bowl, our lime, our chips. Let's cut one off again. Have you guys used this set? Have you guys made anything yet with this set? As you can see, I got a little carried away, right? Because I loved all the different pieces of it. All right, that one's done. You spice up my life. Let's start with a little bit of the pepper right here. The little cactus again. Right here. And then our avocado. Like this. All right, then we're going to put our taco and our burrito down. Burrito. I could have put a face on the taco too. There's a little face with a mustache that's really cute. Okay, that is the inside. And I'll probably clean this up later a little bit um, with my uh, little eraser, my sand eraser to try and get some of that extra black off of there. Okay, so what we do for this then is we're just gonna fold it up. I'm gonna put some seal. Uh, let me get some seal plus as a matter of fact, because that goes on a little bit easier and sticks a little bit stronger. So I'm going to take that first and put it kind of towards the edge so you have a nice border there. I'm going to add more seal right here and then I'm just going to close it up. Okay, now we've got that that opens just like this. And a couple of the dots in the front and then we are finished with this card. That one was a lot of work but I think it's worth it. I think it's a really fun card. Give it to a special person. All right, there we go. Let's celebrate you. Looks like a party to me. All right, you guys, all we have left are our little treat envelopes. These are super easy to make. If you order the kit, you're gonna get all three of these. 
let me tie this one up. We're just going to make one. I won't go through all three of them with you, but you get the supplies for all three and you can see these are all basically the same thing. Okay. So let me just pull out the pieces real quick and show you what they are. Um, the other thing I used for this is I used um, these Stylish Shapes dies, which are going to carry over, and I used the little banner die, the stitched banner die for that. So these will come in a pouch like this, and all three of them are in here. All right. So um, let me see. Let's, let's do the taco one. All right. So we've got this piece. Let me pull all the pieces out. I've got a white stitch circle die. So, and, and this piece right here, you guys, is six and a quarter by three inches. And then we're scoring at three inches and three and a quarter, right like that. Then these little pieces that go in are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then we've got this, and then we've got um, basic black that I cut that out of. And I think that's all the pieces. You also get three pieces of the white cardstock to do um, the stamping with. So plenty of stuff for stamping. All right, we're going to use some of that ribbon. And what I do is just take a piece and I need to make sure that it's long enough that it's going to go across and we're going to be able to tie it. And I'm going to just score this. Like I said, it's scored at three and three and a quarter. Just like this. If you wanted to make it a little bit thicker, you could add another quarter inch if you wanted to do that. It's up to you. Um, that bows a little this way, but I think that's perfectly fine. All right, um, and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to my ribbon so that it sticks a little bit. And I don't want to go too far with it, just like maybe like that far. All right, and now the rest of the sticky you can see is stuck to the paper, which is good. So then I'm just going to kind of center it here. And put the ribbon down like this right then I can go ahead and put my layer on next Oops. that's gonna go right in the middle over the ribbon and then we can make our um, circle so I've got my two tacos that I have cut and colored and stamped. So I'm going to put the plain one in the back. I'm ready to switch over to the other stamp and seal because that one seems easier. And let's pop this up. Just like this. You can see these come together really, really quickly, really fast. This one I put the little mustache on. You can see the difference. So this one I stamped after I colored. See how kind of blurry that is? This one I stamped before I colored. So we've got our two little guys like this. And we'll put a couple dimensionals on the back of here. All right, this guy's gonna go on here. The last thing we wanna do is do our sentiment. So I used Versamark for this and embossed it in white. This time I use the saying that says, long time, no taco. And let me put that right in the center. I'm going to use white embossing powder on that. And so I did the same thing with all three. I just used different sentiments for each one. And I'm going to use my little tool to hold this because it's very small. Hmm. Again, should I have used my embossing buddy? Yes. I'm just gonna take a little paintbrush that comes with the kit too and kind of brush some of that off. And then we'll use our heat tool on that. It's much faster if you use the embossing buddy. All right, let's quickly do that. And then we're going to use some dimensionals to pop it up. This is a really long video this time. Sorry, you guys. Number 
to use my embossing buddy next time because I think it makes a big difference. Now you could also just cut this out in white and stamp it in black and that would be perfectly fine too. Um, but I kind of like the way the black looked and that's just gonna go across there. I'm gonna just use a little bit of seal on the inside and then take one of our candies. Like I said, I got these from Amazon, um, really fun. So we'll put the taco one inside the taco. Um, the little sombrero you can see. Here's the little piñata, the cactus. Those are pretty cute little candies. So I'm just going to make sure it's all the way to the side so this little package part can fold over like that. And then we'll just tie it. And I think this would be a really cute little gift. You could give the little birthday card one. You know, keep some of these in your desk at work. If somebody's having a birthday in the office, uh, you have one to give away, nice and handy. I just think these are really fun little giveaways. If you have a party, maybe you're going to have a Cinco de Mayo party. You could have little favors. Um, just really fun. Okay, so same thing for the other ones. Um, to do the same, basically thing, exact same thing, just using different sentiments, using uh, different little pictures to cut out. All right, you guys, let's bring back everything we made tonight. We, we did a lot, right? We did this card first. We did our shaker card. We did this fun card that opens up like this. And then we did some of these little boxes. So we have, it's a fun class. We have lots of treats to give to people, right? All right, you guys. Well, I just want to say thank you. Oh, so Lois is asking what DSP. So it is the Flowers and More DSP. And it's pretty colorful and lots of fun. If you want the instructions, the measurement uh, project and supply sheet, just email me. And um, that's at uh, sunshineandsparklesstamping at gmail.com. And I will be happy to send this to you. It has all the measurements and pictures of what we've done. So you can follow along with that. Paper Pumpkin ends on the 10th. If you want to get that, go ahead and sign up. And then also, in addition to sending you this card kit, if you order $35 or more, I will send you the April um, Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial. And this is, again, a group of us, 10 demonstrators who do um, a card every month. And you get the PDF for all 10 cards. This is the card um, that I did this month for um, the Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial. So just a little um, flower card. Uh, the theme is flowers for this month. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing next week yet. I'm going to kind of see what um, sells out, what doesn't sell out. Um, Lois, thanks so much. Um, but you guys, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it was long this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cards. And have a good week, everybody. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.